Yeah, yeah, yeah. I heard it all. I seen it all. Leave me alone. Okay, so what's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Y2 walkthrough. Okay, so, uh, yeah. Before we continue or do anything right here, yes, I know. I know. Draven has a bit of a bad habit of skimming. Skimming through text messages, books, everything. Yes, I am very impatient. It might be dyslexia or something like that. I don't even know. But it turns out that we could actually... We, we could have been in the Pokemon World Tournament earlier than expected. It's just that, you know, I was not looking at the... It, well, it was right there, right in front of me. Literally right in front of me, so get off me. Get off my case or whatever. It won't happen again, guys. Trust me. Uh, I haven't played this game in quite some time. So... Yeah, there's my excuse. So, anywho, Pokemon World Tournament, let's go. Let's get it. Time to be the best, like no one ever has. To collect them is my... I don't even know. You know what I mean. All right. See, this is what's going on. We did not hit participate. We just hit info. I failed to see that thing. So, let's go ahead and hit participate. Let's go to Drip Veil. And we got three Pokemon to choose from. Now, we did increase their levels just a little bit, just for this situation. Of course, we're going to go with Sigh of the Torrent, because, uh, yes, this is my Pokemon, this is my guy. And, uh, well, I am looking at what I can do right here, and it, it turns out that we're going to need Budkiss for this one. Big booty Budkiss. And, well, let's see, there is one more Pokemon that we can actually go for, and that will have to be... I could go for, I could go for Shudder. But, let's see, let's see, okay, so the Pokemon I chose right here is Oshawott, so we got Simithir. Simithir, okay, we, we, okay, so, you know what, let's go with Shitter, okay? Let's do this. Let's go ahead and dominate the world. Okay, done, your registration is complete, right this way, please, okay, let's go. Bring it on, okay. And, as you can see, this tournament is a, an eight-man tournament, eight-man woman tournament, not, you know, missing out on anything, and uh, this will be a single battle. We got Ren versus Yosef, Ted versus Colrus, Hugh versus me, and Sharen versus Col uh, Chloe. And the Driftvale tournament starts now. Okay, and uh, the Driftvale tournament starts now. First timer, Draven enters. I am a real American. Fine for the... Yeah, you know, that would probably be my theme song. Or, you know what? Maybe the Hardy Boys theme song or something? He's pushing his limits in order to find his important Pokemon. And I, I think he would come to, like, a Ric Flair kind of deal. I don't know. The first round, Hugh versus Draven. And look at the screen, man. It is like, okay, we need something like that in the newer games. Clay, or Clay sure likes things. Loud and flashy, doesn't he? Well, whatever. It's time to go all out. Like the event AEW all out. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. So here it is, guys. Our very first battle into the Pokemon World Tournament. And, well, let's see. He's going to be coming out with a Servine. And I probably should have gone with something else like that. And, well, let's see. I do have the moves to actually defeat this guy right here. So let's go with a Fury Cutter. And here comes the Leech Seed. Now, remember, in this one right here, you, can, you, you can't... You can't grow levels or anything like that, guys. It's a, it's just, you know, world tournament and whatnot. And already, I'm kind of at a distance of that disadvantage just because, well, the Leaf Seed is sucking my uh, my energy. So, let's go with Butt Kids right here. And the Servine, you, you, you're, looking, uh, you're looking pretty, uh, you look like you're trying to slip on or something. And here comes the Leaf Blade. That would have totally defeated me. And that was not effective. All right, let's go Flame Burst. Even though we're not the best Pokemon right now, so here we go, Flame Burst for the win. Sick. Oh wow, Servine is still surviving, so let's go, Fire Fang. Let's go. And that was not effective, but here comes a Flame Fang, or whatever it is called in there. Yes, let's do that, okay. So here comes a Tranquil. Now this is a no switch kind of contest right here, so, you know, maybe losing a Pokemon is not entirely bad. But the main Pokemon that you want will be bad. And, well, there goes Budkiss. He's probably already served his purpose. So, let's go right ahead and not use Shadar because that would actually damage us just a little bit right there. So, here comes Sigh of the Torrent. And, well, Sigh of the Torrent. Let's go with the Razor Shell. Yes. Oh, yes. Tranquil defeated. 
And, well, there it is. Look at that. Silent Torrent's looking pretty good. And here comes Simis here. And just the Pokemon I wanted to see. Here we go. Razor Shell. And, uh, well, there comes a uh, Flame Burst. And, well, Razor Shell doing its thing. Say goodbye to Simis here. I'm throwing out that peace sign. Yes. Hugh, he's like, man, I lost. And, yes, you become way too tough, but I, I, I'm going to get stronger, too. Hopefully. Maybe. I don't know. The winner of the first round is Draven. Still, your Pokemon sure look like they're having a lot of fun when they're battling. Yes, uh, they kind of are because, well, you know, I'm training them. Kick it to butt, take it to name. And let's check out the other matches. Turn to your attention to the giant screen. So, here we have Ren versus Joseph, or Yosef. It was a jaw dropping seesaw match. The winner is Yosef. So, there we go. In the match with Ted versus Colrus. An overwhelming victory for Colrus. Oh my god. And the first round, you versus Draven. The battle could have gone either way. No, 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 winner. But the winner is Draven. Oh yeah. And well, the first round, Charon versus Chloe. The opponent couldn't do much at all, so the winner is Charon. Seriously, they're not talking me up, and uh, now the next battle is going to be against Charon, our old buddy. Alrighty. Bring it, Charon. He might be coming out to maybe the Ultimate Warrior song. I don't know. Un did Un the Giant have a, a theme song or something? I don't know. Okay, so here we go. Second round. Fight! Oh man, I love those graphics. I'm as thrilled as I can battle. Here against you, the first challenger I battled as a gym leader. I'm sure you learned something about Pokemon during your journey. Now I'm going to see if your bond with your Pokemon has grown stronger. It has. Okay, so round two. Fight! Taking on Sharon, the Pokemon trainer, not the gym leader, the Pokemon trainer. And here he is, Stoutland from Scotland. I wish I had that Pokemon too. I've literally had two dogs on my team. So let's take a revenge. We're going to take one hit, and well, here comes its workup attack. So that right there is not going to be good. And well, here comes the revenge attack. Revenge of the nerds. Hit him where it hurts. Right in his nards. And well, let's try one more time with the revenge attack right here. Here comes the tackle. And well, that right there hits us a little hard, but yeah, shit are. Shit are you. You're probably not going to battle all day right here. So there you go. There it is, guys. We have defeated him with Sigh of the Torrent. And well, let's see. Here comes the Watchdog. The uh, Pokemon that he has been on my list for the best maybe 12 years because he kept on hypnotizing me and all that crud. And, you know, in this situation, I probably should have started with Shadar, but... Eh, yeah, it doesn't work that way. And here comes another... Yes. We do... We, we, we are allowed these leftovers right here. So here we go again. Revenge attack. Go ahead and bite me. Literally bite me and we flinch. But, good thing that we have leftovers right here, and well, let's go again with another revenge attack, and well, there's that bite attack again. Oh my god, here's the ultimate revenge. That's right. How's it feel to feel? Not so good. Not so good at all. And well, there's the leftovers, and here comes Chinchino. This Pokemon's looking like a, you know, a supermodel of a mouse, and well, we're getting the double slapped. And here comes the revenge attack right here. For the win! That's right. Finish him. Chinchino has been defeated. I am feeling great about myself. And well, that is fantastic. And we are going to the chip. Yes. What now? What now? The winner of the second round is Draven. Look at that. Oh, just like in Japan. Championship style. I'm anywhere I am because Pokemon were by my side. Perhaps we need to think about why Pokemon help us, and not in terms of Pokemon and trainers, but as relationship between living beings. Okay, alrighty. So, who's the next victim? Seriously, who's next? Let's check out the other manager on the giant screen. And well, here we have Yosef versus Colrus, and an over. Oh, seriously, an overwhelming victory. Colrus wins. And. So happy I got to see this battle. Big applause for Draven. Seriously, no overwhelming victory for me? It's like, it, uh, come on, man. Seriously. So, the next battle is going up against Charen. And I would be coming into Goldberg's theme song right here. You know, this theme song. That's right. To Goldberg's theme song. And yeah, it was like 12 seconds long or something like that. I don't want to get copyrighted or anything like that. 
And here comes the final battle, and we're taking on Colrus right here. And I wish to bring that out the power of Pokemon, and he will be coming out to, I think, uh, like, uh, let's just say the Miz. <laughs> yeah, the Miz doesn't have a chance against Goldberg. So let's go right ahead and uh, finish up this business. Colrus versus Draven. Colrus, as many of you guys already know, is a steel type trainer. And I'm probably gonna miss, or I'm probably gonna regret this first one right here because he, I seem to remember him having a Magnemite. So here it is, Colrus in all his technology, and he is coming out with the Magneton. Oh, crud baskets. Okay, so that doesn't make any sense to me right there. How is it the level 25? I do not know. Let's go ahead and switch out to Shadar. Why? Because Shadar has a special ability that we probably need. Yeah, we're definitely gonna need them. So here's a Thunder Wave attack, and this one is, uh, yeah, this one's gonna, yeah, this one's gonna get me all mad right here. So let's go with a high jump kick, finish him off with one hit. Hopefully he doesn't have that kind of a sturdy thing or something like that. I don't know, but it, wow, wow, oh wow, we are, <laughs> wow. Okay, so Shadar, you you really shot the bed right there. Okay, so let's go to Buckus. Okay, big booty Buckus. Seriously? Seriously, Shadar? Okay. Flame Burst for the win. There we go. That's right, eat it. Okay, so that's one down. We got three more to go, or two more to go, and here comes Elgium, the another version. And well, luckily for us, we're gonna go with a Flame Burst right here. We are faster, we are mightier. Elgio is going with the heel block, and well, this might might have worked against. Uh, this probably would have worked against. Uh, what was it called? The uh, uh, side of the torrent, but yeah, not the Pokemon right there. So let's go straight for a flame burst attack yet again, and look at this, flame burst for the win! Big booty Buckus sweeps them all. That's right. This is why we call him Big Booty Buckus because look at that booty. It's big. The winner is, look at that, oh my god, the champ, the champ is here guys, and I'm not going to play John Cena's song, I, I'm sorry, I'm not a big fan of him, but there it is guys, we have won, just as I expected, your Pokemon must be happy to be by your side, you bring out the best in their power. This concludes uh, the Drip Bale Tournament, see you in the next tournament. Oh, there's another tournament? Okay, alright. Okay, so look at that. We have won. We are the champ. Do we get a championship belt for this? Seriously, do we? Congratulations on winning the Drip Bale Tournament. Draven, as a result of your victory, you will be awarded battle points. Seriously? I I, I was actually expecting a championship belt, but then, you know, on the on the flip side, one battle point. Seriously. One battle point. You couldn't have just sent us or gave us a 10? I'm just saying. We hope to see you again. Not really. Okay. An outstanding battle, Grunts. Now everyone is going to want to join in on it and to see your tournament and show their stuff. And uh, would you look at that? It's Roxy. He's like, hey, you two. How did you do? Hey, haven't you got any wild and crazy Pokemon battles to show me? Guess I'll have to enter the tournament myself and rock the audience right out of their seats. Oh. Huh? That seems like a challenge right there. See what I mean? People are pouring in already. If the store, if the strongest trainers from all over join in, I'll raise up everybody's uh, levels of skill, and then little old Driftville City will grow even more and make a heap of money. So keep on busting those battles and rallying everybody. See ya. Don't know what he's saying, but okay, that is cool. Hey, I'm gonna walk away right here. Okay. That's right, the champ is here. It would have been nice to actually earn a championship belt, put it on and all that crap, but no, it's not gonna happen. And well, seriously, Hugh, what do you want? I barely recognize you and Draven. You two are way different from when we battle in this purchase city. Traveling with Pokemon makes uh, makes everyone grow so much. Oh, great. Hugh's having his, uh, his, his, uh, his flashbacks again. What was that just now? I'm going after him. Draven, come with me. Stop. Uh, okay, so what, 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 what do you need, Polaris? There's no reason for you to stick the ne next to something that's so dangerous. The Pokemon I'm looking for, for my little sister's Purloin, it might be with them. Um, okay, so look at that, and I'm going to. I got his back. Uh, okay, so what is going on here? Seriously, what is going on? I don't understand. That's not courage, it's recklessness. 
Does he think anything is possible simply because he has a Pokemon with him? No, no, that's not possible. All trainers and Pokemon are bound to one another by Pokeballs. They may be, or then maybe it, it is this bound bond that will allow trainers to overcome the impossible if they just trust their partner. Hmm. Okay, so something's going on right there. And it looks like to me, hmm, yeah, we're going to have to find out a little bit later on in the next episode because, well, yeah, there's something going on in the next episode. So, thank you guys again for watching, staying patient and all, uh, as always, and uh, yeah, if you guys want to make a small donation to this channel, link is in the description. I believe there's a heart right there, so if you guys want to make a donation there, there it is. I'm probably going to have to set that one up, I just realized that. So, again, thank you guys again for watching, and I will see you guys next time.